that's a great aspirational <laughs> a target, um, but a few things are going to have to change considering that they're not likely to do 175,000 in the next 12 months. So they're going to have to do 250 to 300,000 homes in the remaining four years of that uh, program. What do you believe will need to change to meet that aspiration? Well, I think a lot of the things they're saying are, are making the right noises. Um, definitely we need more trades to come in to build those homes, that's definite. Uh, we need more land release, which is a state issue, and a couple of the states are talking about that area. And it was really great to hear in the last couple of days they're talking about you know, releasing uh, standard cookie-cut uh, three, three- and four-storey walk-up buildings, which is the missing middle, which we haven't had for 15 years in Sydney. You know, we need those and we need them in big numbers if we're going to build the number of homes that we need. So I'm supportive of everything they're doing. Um, they just really need to get cracking straight away. What sense do you have that governments of all levels are indeed now coordinating with the construction, se with the construction sector to get moving? Well, we've got two states that, are, as I said, are making the right, right noises. Um, you know, South Australia just uh, took stamp duty off um, first home buyers and that's been a great um, incentive in that state. I mean, that state is actually up 20% or something on where it was last year. So it's one of the strongest states. So we just need a, the states to sort of maybe act in concert and think nationally that if we're going to achieve those targets, we all need to pull together. Um, and they need to get rid of some of those roadblocks that are really slowing things down. Have you heard from government, any level of government, and been asked for input? Oh, I have staff that are talking to government at all levels at all time, yes, that's for sure. And what are you advising government at the moment in relation to this aspirational target? Well, as I've previously said, I mean, the immigrants, it's no use bringing in doctors and nurses because there's nowhere for them to live. And we need to bring in tradesmen to build those houses. And a lot of tradesmen, they don't have fixed base wages. And so they've got to make some arrangement where contractors can come in. And we know places like the UK, for example, housing's down 50%. So there'll be plenty of bricklayers in the UK that want to come to Australia. You know, we need to get them in by the thousands and tens of thousands. I mean, we need 500,000 homes or something of that order in the next couple of years. You need, need uh, 500,000 tradespeople to build them, you know, and that's a city the size of Canberra, like, to put it in sort of perspective. Uh, and they want to build two and a half Canberras in the next five years. So it's an enormous undertaking and we're going to need the people, we're going to need the land. Um, we've got the product, don't worry about that, but we need all the other bits and pieces to be, you know, all lined up. The property developer, Tim Gurner, recently said there are areas of the country developers just won't touch right now because of the high cost of construction. Do you agree? And if yes, how can those costs be overcome so that the building that needs to happen can happen in, in most capital or all capital mm. cities? Look, I think it starts with the land. It takes 10 years to get a block of land approved for housing and that carrying cost of that land it goes into the value of the land and then they've got to pay you know, this tax and that tax. Um, you know, 40 odd percent of a house is tax. The government never mentions that, but that's the truth. Um, so that's where it needs to start. The land needs to be approved quickly and houses take nine months or so or more to get approved. In New Zealand, it's 21 days. It used to be you'd get it approved in a week in Australia. It needs to come down to those sort of levels because while it's standing still and nothing's happening, the costs are going on. Uh, yes, I think the trade angle, well, uh, that's improved dramatically with the slow up, but we've only got capacity to do about 175 or 180,000 homes with the current trade level. If you want to go to 250, well, you know, that's, you know, what's that, another third more or half more trade. So the, the only way you're going to get them in the short term is they've got to be immigrated. You can't train those people in that time, let alone build the houses.